Salutations, everyone. By now, you've all heard the news that uh, Ray Narvaez Jr. is leaving Rooster Teeth, or at, at least Achievement Hunter, because uh, he's still going to be on uh, for X-Ray and Fav, and he says that he's going to be popping in in videos every now and again with no clear-cut details about how often or in what capacity, but uh, in, in, by and large, he's leaving Achievement Hunter and pursuing a full-time career in streaming live on Twitch, uh, alongside his girlfriend uh, Tina, which I mean, he's been really into uh, the past year, and it's not a big surprise that he would leave Rooster Teeth for uh, you know a career in streaming. I mean, granted, the dude had the best job in the world. The dude got to hang out with some of the coolest people, do some really cool things, play video games for a living. But he he's leaving something that he loves to do to do something that he loves even more. So in his eyes, it's a trade up, um, you know, even if it is a small one on the grand scale of things. I mean, I'm sure any of us would leave our job to become a part of Achievement Hunter or become a you know a full time streamer. And uh, th this guy, you know, has the luxury of being able to choose between those two careers, and he's choosing the one that he likes the most. So that's not uh, too big of a surprise. It still came up uh, as a lot of a, to us a shock that uh, you know someone from Achievement Hunter would be leaving. I mean, I think we all kind of knew in the back of our minds that it had to happen. I didn't think that Ray would be the first to go. I thought it'd be one of the married guys because like something with their wife or their kid, and they had to move. Um, but you know. It raised the first one, and that's a, that's a bummer for many people. He was uh, their favorite, and he, I think he was for me as well. Um, I mean, the guy was really funny, very entertaining, very very skilled at many different games, and I also saw a lot of myself uh, more so in Ray than any of the other achievement hunters. Um, I mean, we're both the same age. Uh, we're both shockingly Caucasian for our ethnic backgrounds. We both stay inside because it's safe. Uh, wear glasses. Uh, we're both good at Call of Duty. Uh, we both like playing video games and getting, you know, a gamer score. And we like Scott Pilgrim and Pokemon. I, I just saw more of myself in Ray than other achievement hunters. So I, I guess it was only natural that I, you know, liked him a little bit more than the others. Rooted him uh, a little bit more in Minecraft Let's Plays, even though. I mean, people have been ragging on Ray for lacking enthusiasm, especially when it comes to the Minecraft let plays. But I mean, a job's a job. I mean, a lot of the other people might not show it, but uh, you know, when you have to do something as your job, it becomes you know less you know less exciting, less intense, and you sort of you'll lose enthusiasm for it, especially when it's a video game that you have to play at least once a week. And you know, I mean, that's not even counting things to do, which is usually once a week. And you'll, I mean, it only makes sense that um, you'll they'll find one or two games that, I mean, after having to play it once or twice a week for years, that you lose interest in it. And people have been saying that he's lost interest in just being part of the videos as a whole. He's being quiet. And um, as some of that is because of, you know, his personality or, you know, his persona that he has to play up. Oh, he's the lazy one who doesn't talk much. Ryan's the crazy one. Michael's the rage one. Gavin's the dumb one. Jeff drinks and has a mustache. Jack's fat. They all have to no, they don't have to, but they feel like they have to play into that persona a little bit. Because, you know, it, it's all a big inside joke to them and their audience. And us as an audience, we are having to deal with something that no other generation of people have had to deal with when it comes to uh, someone leaving the digital space. Um, because we've gotten so used to these people, we, it's like we feel like we know them. We feel like we're, we're good friends with them. We, we feel like, you know, they talk to us, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a week. And, and, you know, sometimes as long as an hour at a time. And to lose that um, is way different than, you know, an actor leaving a TV show or a, a radio show or, or, you know, quit acting as, altogether. Um, that relationship between the audience member and... And the YouTuber, especially when it comes to Let's Players, who are very, you know, it's unscripted, it's off the cuff, it's, you know, their personality shining through uh, at long, you know, periods of time at a time. So we, we have a different connection with people online, and especially the Let's Play uh, 
community than anyone has had a, a connection with anyone in the past. So when one of them leaves, um, it's, it's, it's something that other, other people have had to deal with. And a lot of us, um, we're, we're able to feel this, this large whoa. I didn't realize how strongly connected we were to these people. Like when, uh, when Monty passed away, um, that, that hit a lot of us, I think, more so than we thought it would. And he wasn't even a guy that we saw very often, but he was a creator of things and very passionate and very strong, uh, person and personality. And he was still someone that we connected to. And when it comes to, you know, like uh, when Ray leaving or when many people, when John Tron left Game Grumps, it felt like, like, oh, my gosh, there's this void. This is something I've been used to day in and day out. This per this person talking to us and, and not only just talking to us, the audience, but also interacting with their coworkers, either it be John interacting with Aaron and Barry or Ray interacting with the rest of the Achievement Hunter guys, that's something that we're, we're missing, that we're going to miss, regardless of how many times we watch uh, Ray stream, which I'm sure many of us are going to do, even more so now that this is the only way we're going to be able to get our daily fill of the brown man, um, but we're not going to see him, you know, interact you know, yelling at Gavin, you know, g going off with, you know, Team Salt and Vinegar, R&R &R connection, no breaks, uh, you know, dissing on other people and playing games together with those Achievement Hunter guys. That's something that we're not going to have anymore. Or, you know, he says he's going to be popping in every now and again. So I hope that's at least at least once a month. We just get a little bit of taste of Ray. That'd be that would be that'd be fine. Um in a perfect world, you know, all of us selfish people want him to stay an Achievement Hunter and just keep making videos for us forever. But we all know that this wasn't going to be the case. Um, but it's still sad to see him go. Um, it's, a, it's a bummer. It really is a bummer. Especially because it's Ray. Uh, f for many of us. So, I mean, there's going to be a void in the team lads. I don't know who's going to be filling that. I feel like the most natural fit and the one person that I want to uh, become fill that void the most uh, would be Lindsay. Um, I know a lot of people have strong opinions about Lindsay, but uh, I think she's the most natural fit. I mean, she's married to Michael. She's been there longer than you know, you know Jeremy or anyone else that they've newly hired, um, which who haven't really proven themselves. Uh, not that that's, that's their own fault. They just haven't been in as many videos for the audience to accept them, to give them their own personality and fill in their own niche, uh, within that, uh, six person team. I feel like Lindsay already has that established. So I would like to see her, uh, fill that void, but, uh, let's be honest, no one's going to really fill that void of Ray. I mean, if Michael left, no one would be able to fill that. If Gavin left or Jeff or, or Michael or, or uh, Ryan or, or Jack, uh, they all have their unique personalities that uh, they can't be replaced. And when it comes to the amount of entertainment and catchphrases and, and things that Ray gave us, that's not something that you can just plug in and replace. Uh, so that's a shame. Uh, that definitely is a shame. But I definitely wish him all the best. I'm following him on Twitch. And I'm a huge X-Ray and Vav fan, so I can't wait for Season 2. So, uh, so yeah, he's, he's still going to be, you know, in our, in our lives in the capacity of which we choose to, because I mean, some people say they don't have the time to watch streams and blah, blah, blah. He's also going to be making more videos on his Brown Man channel, which he's had since before he was hired by Rooster Teeth. So at least there's that as well. And he, he is still going to be part of Rooster Teeth. Um, and he's still be coming to, uh, the cons, I would assume, uh, maybe in more so now that he's, uh, not, uh, packed down with that uh, Achievement Hunter schedule, but yeah. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. I'm probably going to have a, a couple of uh, Ray-themed videos in the next couple of weeks, so look forward to that if you're a fan. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.